it may look slightly ungainly, but this could well be the future of spaceflight. On Saturday, October 26th, the Sierra Nevada Corporation Dream Chaser took to the skies for the very first time, albeit slung underneath a helicopter rather than strapped onto a rocket. The craft is a prototype space taxi, a mini shuttle designed to get up to seven astronauts to the International Space Station and glide home to land on a runway. And that was the purpose of this first unmanned test. Fitted with all the comfort and modern gear you'd expect from a taxi, that is, fluffy dice, the craft was hauled to 12,500 feet before being released to glide home above Edwards Air Force Base in California. And everything seemed to go swimmingly, at least until the very last moment. One of the wheels on the landing gear failed to deploy, so despite a smooth landing, the craft skidded off the runway and into the grass. Funny how that wasn't included in the press video. Sierra Nevada are still analysing the damage, but say that the computers and crew compartments survived unscathed. They added that the landing gear wasn't the one they would be using in the final model. Ah, good. Nor has a little crash put the company off. They're planning on a manned glide flight at some point next year, with research on the craft's rocket engines already a decade underway.